We're actually bringing out some truths. Peel back the layers of all this fluff. Shining the light on this industry as a whole. Maybe you should stay away from it. Hi everybody, welcome to Real Estate Raw and Uncut. This is episode 64. I'm Byron Lazine, joined by Tim Bray. It is 64, right? I didn't double check you on that. I don't know, just go with it. I hope it's 64. What do we, uh, what do we got? The Giants last night. That was, it was incredible. It was, it was the catch in the end. Well, they blew it, then they came back. All my Giants fans out there, big win, we're looking good. Pats. They had a big win too. I actually was cheering for the Pats. Yeah, because your fantasy football team is Be probably aligned with <laughs> no beating up on the Cowboys. Yeah, there you go. So America's team, America's team, baby. No, no, definitely so, not. So let's let's look at a fairly controversial issue. Controversy this. early in the week on a Tuesday. Early in the week. Should you or should you not have your photo on your business card? What do you think? Photo, uh, you profile photo, not your dog, not your cat, or something. <laughs> not you, your company uh, logo. Your 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 like what? What? Pearly whites. That's right. Your picture. And why would you have it on there? I personally don't, but I I know a you lot mean, of agents. Looking guy, you know? <laughs> you don't have your photo on there. I know a lot of agents that do. Okay. So um, what's the methodology? Do you think? Why would you have your photo? I don't. On business card? I don't believe that that is going to be what differentiates you from your competition. Are I, you saying in this industry or are you saying in general? In like general. When would you have your picture on your business card? Um, maybe if you're a model? Uh, maybe, I, I guess. Yeah, if, if, if what you're selling is your face, then maybe you... I mean, is that how you pick who you're going to work with? I mean, I, I mean, look at all these business cards. <laughs> Seriously, right. like what if it's a builder? Oh, I like the way that guy's hammer here's, sets on here's, his hip. <laughs> it's like, here's the thing, people aren't going to, one, very few people are going to keep your, <laughs> your business card because it's 2015. It's not like they're going to go home and, and go like this and say, oh, I met with four agents today. Um, here's three without a, a photo and here's one. Maybe when you're at a conference, you're going to remember people easier. Right. But most people aren't going to keep these. They're going to use you know, the newest device ever, the cell phone, to take somebody's contact info, put it in, and now they have it forever. So I, 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 think, I, I just don't think it does anything for you. I think there are so many people in this industry that what people are trying to do is they're trying to think of a way to differentiate themselves from the competition. Right. And when you first get into this business, you really don't have much that is going to differentiate you other than the fact that you look different than everybody else. Right. So you're trying to exploit that difference, which is your photo and That's your right. profile. I think if you have built a brand around your appearance, so there's a guy that we know up, up north here in New England, wow. J Justin Kelkors, big ups to Justin and his team uh, at Keller Williams in uh, Portsmouth. Portsmouth. Yeah, Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and Alley. My girl Ali, she's the best uh, agent up there. Know, ju yeah, <laughs> but Justin, he's the biggest beard in real estate. Beard, as in beard, like beard. He he has branded himself as the biggest beard in real estate, and so on his sign, he's got this beard like down to here. So you wouldn't you on would his, shave that beard. You can't shave it now that you've branded, branded yourself. Yeah. But he's on the signs with his big beard. So if I'm him, my card somewhere, I'd have. Uh, you know, a logo with me and my big beard, and everything is branded that way. So for him, I think it makes sense. So but that's his differentiator. That's one of his differentiators. I, I mean, they've got a good team. And so, how do you differentiate yourself as an agent? Right. I think as an agent, you do it through your education. Yeah. You can do it. So if you specialize in waterfront communities, if you specialize in divorce, um, you know, maybe it's subdivisions, maybe it's land, maybe it's leasing, maybe it's commercial real estate. Uh, you've got to differentiate yourself. Yeah, get your SRES, get your GRI, get, get your right. designations that fit your business model. I think another differentiator is having the proven systems that work and get the job done for your client. So if you're listing a lot of properties, ha having you know systems for marketing, systems for follow-up, system, you know all these different things 
so that when you sit down with a client, they're going to remember you because they met with three other agents and that you were the only one that had proven systems on how to sell their house. They're not going to say, well, he had a really nice photo on his business card. Right. So I think both of us are kind of in agreement that the business card, the photo on yeah. the business card should go. It should go. You shouldn't have it. And I was at uh, Tom Ferry's um, conference in August in San Diego and I think it was Kyle Whistle, who's a San Diego agent, got up on stage and and he was ripping all the agents that have the photo on the business card and on the sign. I mean, just ripping them. And, and you know, he kind of felt bad. There were some people in the room that certainly had their photo on their sign. They're, they're tearing the card in half. They're like, I don't want to give my card to anybody. I mean, he was just like, this is, you know, um, kindergarten type stuff for professionals and act like a professional. I, I mean, I just don't, I don't see the value in it. If you want to, I'm not. But you've got to find Completely a way to against it. yourself. Like right. you, when you first got into the business some time ago, you were you you said, "Hey, look, nobody's going to outwork me." Right. You were you were right. And that's still true today. Nobody. That's a good shot. <laughs> nobody's going to outwork you. Now you have honed your craft and and your skills, and now your differentiators are, are huge. Yeah. Not only are you the best cornhole. <laughs> no, no, person no. in the region. I don't think so. But you know, you, it, it is. It's the systems. It's everything that this has become. Yeah. You don't need your picture on I mean, the business card. This is so antiquated. the The business card model today is having a business page on Facebook where people are going to see you seven days a week. It's having a gallery on Instagram where people are going to see you two times a day, times seven days a week. Being out in front of them on LinkedIn, being um, on on pinch on their Pinterest, and everywhere that they go, because the people that you're trying to reach are going to spend time on one of these platforms. So if you're on all of them, you are a living business card every single day. Just like newspaper ads, they never sold any homes historically, but what did they do for agents? They branded them in a way That's where right. it's a Sunday morning or a Friday morning business card for the agent. Well, what about putting your, your okay, so we're, we're past the business cards. How about the sign? On the sign. How about your face on the sign? Here's the thing, somebody isn't going to say I'm interested in that property because of that face on the sign. Well, my issue is it, it comes back to branding, okay? now. If you're going to change your picture every two or three years, right. okay. So but you're changing your brand the sign. is changing yeah. now too because you're aging. Right. Your sign should be very direct. Property for sale. Obviously, you got to put your brokerage um, information on there. Phone number, contact info. This is what's for sale. Contact. I think it shows you. It's a call if to your action. Your picture is on. I'm, I'm going to offend some people on this one, but it happens. E if your picture is on your business card and if it's on your sign, you just don't know the difference. I think that somebody has told you it's the right thing to do and it's a way to differentiate yourself. It's not the right thing to do. It's not what's going to get you business. Not for it's our not. business. It could be for somebody else's. What about, what about a lot of these brokerage companies out here actually recommend and demand that you put your picture on your business card? What do you say? What, what do you do then? Find a new broker. <laughs> okay. You know? I agree. Um, I don't think it's going to help you. I think, like you said, education, systems, finding things that are actually different from your competition that buyers and sellers care about, which well, is getting the job done. When you put that picture on your business card and on your sign, you're telling the world that you're the exact same as everybody else, but the only right. differentiator is your picture and your profile. Yeah, I would agree. Don't do it. But if it works for you, you have been doing it. Drop me a comment in, in the in the I'm comments, like, whoever. I'm taking that neutral approach. <laughs> and, <laughs> and tell me that I'm an idiot and tell me that it's worked for you. I'd love to hear your story if it has. I, I went to an event the other night and, um, you know, Kevin Skolchak, he was there. Was this picture on his car? Oh, it probably is. Yeah. Skolchak, <laughs> absolutely. But, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. M, I won't drop his name, you know who I'm talking about. He said, Byron, you're worse than a politician, man. You're in and out of here in 50 minutes. You know, you got to take that neutral approach and, and be in and out sometimes. So, <laughs> I have no problem with that. Um, definitely throw us some comments. If you're using this approach, I'd love to hear about it. If you're not or you have in the past and you switch, we'd love to hear about that. 
And I'd love to... You're, just, you're loving everything. I'd love to see you follow me on Instagram at Byron Lazine. Tim? T-Bray777. That's right, on the gram. So we'll see you guys uh, on Friday.